Hey everyone, it's Ashley, your independent sensing consultant. Welcome back to my channel. So I have my October scent and warmer of the month to share here. Um, I haven't taken it out of the box because I just want to show you guys. Um, I just got back from the post office. I had a couple questions about this, but I have a PO box and USPS has this feature if you have a PO box where they'll give you a street address so you can send your packages to the post office and they accept your packages on your behalf. I personally love doing that because then I don't have to send things to my house and they don't have to sit on my porch all day because Corey and I are mostly at, we have full-time jobs and we don't do a lot of working from home. So um, I love it. Um, totally worth the money. <laughs> so also I send a lot of packages. Like I fully use my PO box, you know, but it's totally worth it. So when the gal at the post office brought me this package today and set it on the counter, I was like, oh my gosh. Like, I know it's not the post office fault. It goes through a lot of hands before it gets to them. But let me show you guys. This is the status. Look at this cute pillow we picked up at Walmart. Isn't that so cute? Um, okay, this is the status of the box. Like, you can see into the box, like, she is real dented. I'm nervous to say the least that we may have some broken, some broken parts here, but you know, that happens sometimes and I just wanna share my experience. So generally, like I've only had one instance where I've like the box fell apart and like items clearly fell out of it. I've only had that happen one time. But sometimes the box is like dented to the point where things are broken, which of course is not Sensi's fault. It's not the post office fault. It's all the uh, the hands it shovels through. Oh gosh, you guys. Oh wow. I am not optimistic. Mm, like, look at this. You can like you can take this apart. We're gonna start there. Cause I'm sure the bars will be fine because they're just bars, but like, also I feel like sometimes he, since he's really great about like damaged stuff, like if it's broken, they'll replace it. UPS is not good about, like I put in a claim when they, my package was broken and all my stuff fell out of it and they did absolutely nothing about it. I, since he replaced it all, I was like, hey, I had an issue with my, or my US, my UPS, that's the one that I had the issue with. Um, I was like, I had an issue with my package. Some of the stuff never came. Like it, the bottom of the box is ripped. Like it looks like everything just fell out of it. And they totally replaced it all. UPS, I sent them pictures. They made me like fill out all these things and they did nothing. And I'm like, you're telling me someone lifted the box and it fell apart and they just didn't realize. Like that was crazy. So, okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. So as consultants, sorry, I'm not trying to make this ranty. This is just real life, you know, like just because I'm a consultant doesn't mean I get special treatment. We all order our products the same way. So as consultants, we get early access to the scent and warmer of the month. So this is actually going to be available in October, um, starting October 1st. And it's another pumpkin warmer. And then we have a new scent of the month as well. So I'm actually going to open these flyers. I'm gonna move the box so Jem can jump up next to me or smell the box, you know. She's really looking at me like, pay attention to me, mother. <laughs> She's biting the box, of course. Um, I will say if you are going to try and do a claim with UPS, keep your box because they will ask you questions like submit pictures and you have to like pull numbers and stuff off the box. But for me, they've never been helpful. So here's what the warmer is supposed to look like. Here is the, the box and the status of the box. Let's, um, let's get into it and see here. It's glass, I'm assuming, so that's why I'm a little bit nervous. Okay, the styrofoam is dented. Okay, we have the lid. You guys know I hate this styrofoam stuff. Like, I just hate the noise of it. Okay, let's take the lid out, which is completely orange. That's kind of fun. Typically, they're kind of like a clear color. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I hate the noise of that. Okay. And also, styrofoam just so messy. But, oh, 
I'm making a mess. I'm gonna have to definitely vacuum. This looks to be the same exact lid that's on the fairy tale pumpkin, except for it's black and not silver. So uh, for those of you who didn't like the silver, there you go. Um, honestly, I think, I think the warmer's okay, which like, look at the inside. How smash this is but I think we're all right I don't see any cracks maybe no I, I honestly don't think I do there's like a one little piece but I don't think that was from the shipping that looks like it came that way um I'm just like really <clears throat> looking this over because if it was broken <clears throat> if the glass was cracked I wouldn't want to put it the light bulb in and heat it up because I don't want to let the glass crack more and like have shatter or anything so I'm just really reviewing it before I do anything with it but it seems to be okay so props to the Scentsy packaging department because I thought when I saw this box and even the warmer box being that smashed I was like this is toast for sure um you can hear Jem getting in the box. Also, sometimes um, if you have a broken bulb, sometimes that can happen as well, depending how it is packaged. Uh, contact your consultant, they can get you a new bulb. Generally, for like my customers, I keep bulbs on hand. So I can just, Jem's literally knocking that box over. Um, I just keep bulbs on me. So then if they're like, hey, I got a broken bulb or defective bulb or whatever, then I can just send it out right away. I don't have to wait for Scentsy to send it. So just contact your consultant. Um, obviously, if you have any issues ever, contact your consultant. But yeah, so sometimes like the bulb will be sometimes broken, but sometimes like parts disconnected or whatever. Things can happen. So this is a 25 watt bulb. So I feel like this is going to be a pretty good performer. Let's read a little description here. It's called Tiger's Eye Pumpkin. It does not come with the free jammy playing in the box noises in the background. I'm so sorry, guys. Okay. <clears throat> Tiger's Eye Pumpkin, the most mystical pumpkin in the patch. This hand-blown glass warmer radiance, warm, a warm and cozy glow with an edge. Removable decorative lid gives that just picked feel. So um, it's kind of like the tiger's eye actual warmer, but put into a pumpkin. So it kind of has those like blown glass, like darker portions. It looks to be almost like a copper turned off, <clears throat> but I think it's going to light up more orange. It just comes with a clear bulb, but you could change the bulb color. So, okay, let's put the lid on. This lid, it definitely like doesn't have very much of a lip for the lid, uh, the dish to set in. So I feel like also the lid, not that it slides around because it fits pretty snug, but there's not a lot of lip there. Like some of the other warmers, like it's pretty shallow. Okay. Oh yeah, that's pretty. It definitely looks more orange once you light it up, but it's definitely, it's not glam as much as the other two pumpkin warmers are glam. I love the glam look, but I do think this is really pretty and it's a very pretty soft glow. I think I honestly might put this in the bedroom. I already, I just did my warmer tour with you guys and I already have the gingham gourd like stacked pumpkin in the bedroom, but I think I might replace the aqua glow and put this there just cause it has that really subtle glow. And I don't leave my warmers on uh, with light overnight and currently no warmers on overnight. So that shouldn't affect me, but I do feel like this is gonna be a fairly good performer. So if you did wanna put it in your open concept and like I said, you could change the light bulb color. And I feel like this dish is also aiding in that orange glow we have going on. So that will be available October 1st. Um, I need to create my pre-order form. I don't know if I'll have that done by the time I get this video up. It's gonna be with my holiday collection pre-order form. So if you are interested in pre-ordering, just contact me and I'll send you my form once I get it done. This is going to be on discount for $54 in the month of October. Once again, Tiger's Eye Pumpkin. 25 watt, eight inches tall. I wonder if the eight inches includes the little 
the little stem here or not. It looks to be the same exact shape as the fairy tale pumpkin though. Just kind of different finishes. Jemmy, what, what are you needing? What, what are we doing? Cat owner, love it. Okay, next we have the scent which is called Warm Pumpkin Drizzle. If you got the whiff box, we got a little sampler cup, which is so exciting. I love when they do that. Jem, do, 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 do not eat that. Just trying to eat the styrofoam pieces. Stop being naughty. She's like no mother. You know, the video where it's like, I crave violence. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. The notes on this, I didn't read the like full on description when I melted the little sample cup. I just like went for it and smelled it and did it. But the general overview notes are warm clothes, comforting, wait, warm clothes, comfort, cozy pumpkin with a drizzle of sweet maple syrup. So they've really been kicking it up with the maple lately. And there is a set in the holiday collection that has maple in it too. Freaking gem. Hey, Jimmy, stop it. This video is a disaster. <laughs> um, so they've been doing a lot of maple. I was, maple in general makes me nervous, but I ended up really liking maple rum cake. So just because it had sweet maple syrup, I was like, ooh, I'm nervous about that. When I warmed it, it, was just like a generic sweet spice scent kind of, but I warmed it in my office with just the tester cup. So I feel like it didn't get a very good experience. I feel like here it's reminding me of like, it's a little pumpkin-y, but I'm looking at the notes and all of a sudden, like I didn't get this in the little tester cup, but the top notes are juicy pineapple, a naughty cat, Gemma, please stop. <laughs> please stop being so naughty. That's what I get for putting the boxes on the floor. Okay, the top notes are juicy pineapple, spicy cinnamon, warm clove, and maraschino cherry. I don't know if it's psychological now that I'm seeing these, but I'm getting pineapple on the top of this. And it's just like the sweetness of pineapple. Like I get pineapple, but it's not like a pineapple scent. It's just like pineapple sweetness. But then the mid notes are pumpkin pulp and sweet maple syrup. I feel like I get that mapley syrup sweetness. The base notes are vanilla bean, creamy butter, and whipped cream. It almost is giving me more fruity. Like, I feel like this doesn't smell like the duster cup. And I don't know if it's now just because I'm reading all these notes, like pineapple and cherry, that it's giving me fruit. But it's like fruity with pumpkin and spice and bakery. Like it's definitely different than I was expecting or what I remember warming from the tester cup. I feel like it's somewhat giving that like pumpkin pecan waffles vibes, but definitely the syrup. Like you can very much smell the syrup with, I don't want to say butter because I feel like once you say butter, people are like, oh, it's a butter scent. I hate it. But you know how like syrup has that distinct smell and it's not so much maple syrup. It's almost more like, you know, they make the syrups with the butter in it. Kind of giving me those vibes. But I'm getting a lot of the pineapple in this bar, which I do not remember getting. Also, maybe when it warms up, it just is like totally different. So. It, to me, it says it's in the bakery category. When I warmed the sample cup, I remember it being a bakery. And I kind of remember just thinking it was like a pumpkin-y with like a light cinnamon spice. It wasn't like a deep pumpkin spice. It was just like sweet spice with pumpkin. So now I'm really curious to warm this again. Uh, as consultants, we get eight bars in our kit. So I got plenty to test out. I'm gonna be making samples of these for my customers. For some happy mail. I'm real curious to see what people think about this. I've only watched people talk about their um, like whiff box cup. I haven't watched anybody actually unbox their warmer or scent of the month kit. So curious to see what other people think. Um, if you tried this in the whiff box, let me know what you think if you're like don't make videos because I have watched a lot of videos about the whiff box. 
But yeah, I feel like this doesn't smell exactly the same. And maybe, maybe it doesn't, I don't know. <laughs> so I'll have to watch some new videos now and see like people comparing their kit to the whiff box. Cause if I'm the only one who feels that way, maybe I just was off the day I warmed it, which could be. So this is also, like I said, available in October, starting on the 1st. Same situation, if you wanna pre-order it, just let me know. Otherwise, um, it'll be on the site on the 1st with the warmer and other goodies launching that day. But it is on discount in October. The Sensi Bar is 540, the Room Spray 720, and the Scent Circle 270, as always. So that's what we have going on here. Um, I'm really curious to warm this. And like I said, I'm going to probably put this warmer in the bedroom. So um, I know I told you guys I was going to switch up some warmers in my warmer tour and it's already happening. It's been like two days. So <laughs> thank you guys so much for watching. Sorry, this video is a little bit of a hot mess but it's my real life and what do you do, right? So <laughs> I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.